good morning from Tallahassee, Florida. Also, I know that my bun is out of control. I've tried to fix it 42 times and it just has a mind of its own. So I guess it wants to be the star of the show this morning. Anyway, I just did my stretches and so I'm going to read my Bible before I jump on the road to Jacksonville. Last night I parked here. Hold on. Uh, actually, I don't remember where I am. I think it's uh, Hampton Inn in Tallahassee. Oh, it is overcast and gloomy today. I love it. All right, so I had a pretty decent night's sleep here at the hotel parking lot, but there were a few times where people were just kind of walking around. There were like two U-Haul trucks around, so I think there are people like trying to move across country or whatever, I'm just making that up. Um, but for the most part, it was nice, peaceful. I didn't get bothered at all. I showed me making this yogurt fruit situation the other day, but I just wanted to mention that it's always a good idea to also add some chia seeds for the fiber. And I bought this like a like a grocery store that has like a, those bulk bins. And I just sprinkle uh, a good amount on here. Sometimes I use flax seed as well, which I have, but it's in one of my bins that I don't really feel like getting out right now because I'm being kind of lazy and I want to get on the road. I'm gonna add some granola. And that's what's for breakfast. Quick and easy. Friends, somebody asked me where I got this and asked if they made one that's a one that's a 12 volt instead of 110. So I went to look it up on Amazon to get the link. And I was looking at the pictures. Why did I not know that all this time, this came with like a little silk baggie that's ripped now, so I just threw it away. But why did I not know that this handle doesn't just go into the bag. It actually attaches on here. So I've spent the last five minutes trying to figure it out because this slot goes like up and down, but it's even got a little arrow and all it does is you slide this piece right here in like this. Bro, why? I've had this for like two years now. I never even knew that the handle attached on here like this. for two years and I did not know this and then the other thing is every time I want to like you know put the handle on like this once it's like in the mode that I'm gonna make the whatever I was like putting my thumb nail on this little piece right here which is has to be like pretty precise why did I not know that you could just go down here at the bottom and there's a little piece that you just pull this down you don't have to put your nail Why are things so hard until you find out that there's like the easiest way in America? Okay, also I just noticed, I'm gonna make my coffee, then I gotta get dressed and I'm gonna leave. But why did I just notice this car next to me has all, like has the flat tires, like somebody came through and stabbed their tires. That's bad news, bro. So I made it to Jacksonville, Jacksonville Jaguars, and my friends, they were having a football party. So I picked this up really quickly at Walmart and <laughs> it was really fun. I meant to take like some video of just the gathering and the food and stuff, but I got there a little bit after the game had started. So I didn't want to just like bust out my phone, start filming. Um, I snuck these out because 
I mean, Reese's footballs. <laughs> Come on now. These are going straight into the freezer though. And it was just a great time. I'm really glad to be in Jacksonville. I have a few friends here and it just, it feels so nice. This is probably a place that I would consider living. It's beautiful. It's, you know, there's a beautiful beach nearby. I'm wiped out though. So I did some work this morning. I drove three hours. I came straight to the party. My friend invited me in and I was just like, to be honest, I'm just a little tired. So I'm ready to go to bed tomorrow. I think I'm going to head to the beach and just spend some time chilling. I'm going to be here for about a week and a half and then I am going somewhere special. The cool thing is that whenever I do go to come to Jacksonville, I have two friends that allow me to stay parked in their driveways and so I don't have to drive around looking each night. So that really makes a huge difference. <sighs> it's like a sigh of relief. Anyway, I'm wiped out. Good night. All right, I woke up this morning and it felt so good to just be in one spot but I wanted to get over to the beach. So I got here a little while ago, made a breakfast burrito, which I'm eating now. I did a pretty good job, to be honest. Air fried diced potatoes, one scrambled egg, a little bit of refried beans and a little cheese. And then I put a little ketchup. Ow. Not mad at this breakfast burrito, it's really good. Today is kind of a day off for me. So I'm just kind of lazing around reading my Bible. And I am going to take a walk on the beach, even though it's pretty windy out today. I want to get some exercise in. On my last video, I talked about having GERD and acid reflux. And I got so many comments from the snack pack of just different remedies, natural things to try. I'm going to try a lot of them because I want my body to be in more optimal health. So today, one of the top things that I'm going to do is go buy some kefir, which is like a fermented milk product which I've had before but I'm going to get some and just start adding that into my diet it's kind of like yogurt but it has more probiotics in it so anyways that's on the agenda for today to Publix to grab a few things that I want to try for getting rid of my GERD and this place is excessive in pricing they were at least one to three dollars higher than Walmart I'm out of here I thought that they would have like better quality things so I was like well let me pay a little bit more but they have the exact same brands as Walmart so why not so I'm on my way to Walmart, but first I'm gonna make a pit stop over to Starbucks because I haven't had Starbucks in like, I don't even know how long, probably a couple months, which is crazy. And I, did, and I got a Starbucks gift card for Christmas. So I'm gonna have Starbucks today. And one of the reasons I haven't been having Starbucks is because I'm trying to obviously cut out any like excess things in my diet that I don't need for my GERD and also for my health for losing weight but today is one of those days that I think I'm just gonna get a nice little breakfast sandwich and uh, iced coffee with oat milk and then I'm going to Walmart Alright, first 
first sip of Starbucks in a while. Okay, listen, I just don't know what it is. I mean, I try to make this same similar situation in my van and you know, I come close, but it's just never the same. I think this just has way more sugary pumps of all kinds of things than what I make it. And it's definitely full of more calories. So that's why I've been like cutting it out. But what's, what's happening with the light here? But anyways, it's a good treat every once in a while. And I've kind of learned my lesson on that. So, I mean, you would think I'd learn my lesson, but I've said that before, but currently I'm in that lesson of not getting Starbucks all the time. And it's just occasionally now. And now it feels a little more luxurious. So I'm happy about that. Plus Starbucks is expensive. But since I got this gift card, it was like a $25 gift card. So I'll be able to use it a few times. And when I say a few, I mean like three because this drink and this sandwich, which let me show you the size. It's not that big. This sandwich comes together was like nine dollars thank you for the gift card this is the bacon gouda sandwich it's got gouda cheese scrambled egg and bacon but i asked them to take the bacon off mm. 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 wow i missed that 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 actually is something i i'm i really have missed delicious All right, I just ran into Walmart to get a few things. Uh, I got another salad, maple bourbon bacon, but I won't eat the bacon. It's only 150 calories per serving. I got some gelatin. I don't know if I can just take this directly and like mix it in water, but whatever, it's supposed to be good for your joints. Some more bananas. I don't know, I'll put this somewhere out here. And this was the most expensive thing. This was like, $6.98. This is the new sugar replacement. None of that aspartame stuff, but this is supposed to be just like sugar, but whatever. Sugar replacement. I don't know. I got some spray glue because I recently put these little sticker things up on my kitchen backsplash, but they keep falling off, so I'm going to spray that down. Um, I got another Olipop, uh, but I got the grape flavor. It's just this is like a, a probiotic soda, which is pretty tasty. And then I did finally pick up this kefir, but I have a feeling that um, after this bottle, I think I'm gonna try to make my own because um, this is a peach flavor, but it's 190 calories for one cup. And you're supposed to drink one to two cups a day if you're trying to like rebuild your gut or refix your gut. That's, that's 400 calories for two glasses. That's like a whole meal, so. I don't know, man. I heard it's easy to make it, but whatever. I'm just going to start small. It's also great that you don't have to pay for bags in these other states. Where California, you got to pay 10 cents a bag, sometimes 20 cents a bag. So it's kind of nice to be able to have bags again. That's it. And now I will say I'm running out of room in my fridge because I keep buying things. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I'm like, oh, I want this. I want that. I want yogurt. I want granola. I want salad. No, I want beans and cheese. Like, I keep, I need to relax. Oh, boy. Let's see. Where am I going to put all this stuff? I need to put the kefir in the door. I guess I could put this behind me. Put my broccoli. And, like, in here, maybe? Olipop, I don't know. Alright, that's good. After grocery shopping, I met up with my friend Rachel at a restaurant in Jacksonville called Kairos. It's a healthy place. I don't know if it's 100% vegan, but uh, I think it's vegetarian. Anyways, all I know is that she recommended the salmon tacos, which were super delicious, and she got the cauliflower tacos, and we both got some fresh pressed juice and even though I'm not the biggest fan of beets, this beet juice combination was really tasty and refreshing. Rachel didn't feel that she was camera ready, so she kept hiding her face, but she's cute. I'm gonna drive over to my friend Rachel's house and I'm gonna park outside of her house and sleep in my van. And then tomorrow we're gonna do a little co-working together. So anyway, that's what's going on. Before I drive over to her house, I just want to get this over with. So I'll just do a quick
spray of the glue. Oh, that's cold. Oh boy. I got it up here. That's probably not ideal, but whatever. So do a little bit. And these stickers just came from the Dollar Tree. I got glue all on my hands. I do have some acetone somewhere, but I don't remember where. So my hands are just gonna have to be a little sticky. All right, that's better. And also my toilet is full of number one, so I need to go dump it somewhere and then I can get on the road. Also my oil light came on, so I'm gonna need to get an oil change soon. And the last thing, the last time I got it was when I was in Bozeman, Montana. I was supposed to get it already in November, around 104,000 miles, and we're already at 107,000 and it's January, so it's definitely due. All right, so here's where the rubber meets the road with this channel. You're either gonna respect me for telling you the truth or you're gonna be mad that I do the things that I do and wish that I would have lied to you. But I like to be honest. So when I need to empty out my urine container, I will usually find a, like a place that has a bunch of bushes, especially like at a Walmart or whatever, because usually, and it's usually like back away from the store. Uh, because to me, if somebody was traveling with pets and they had to let their dog out, they would let them go in one of these bushes or whatever. So to me, I don't think it's any different. I usually try to go to a park and dump it further away. I know some people are like, just try to take it into a restaurant or a Walmart or somewhere, bathroom, public bathroom. I'm not gonna go through all that. I'm not gonna stick the whole container in my purse, take it inside, go into a toilet. I'm just not gonna do it. So take it or leave it, that's vehicle living. That's just whatever it is. I've always kept it honest and this is what it is. So, I'm gonna show you where I will be dumping my urine. So as you can see, Walmart is all the way back there and I'm for like really far away from it. And there's a set of bushes right here and a set of bushes right there. So I'm probably just gonna dump it in one of these bushes right there. All right, so I dumped it right in that bush. It's no big deal. It didn't go all over the ground or anything like that. It's seeped in and it's the realities of living in the streets. Holy moly, look at this gorgeous sunset. Ready, set, go. Oh my goodness. That is phenomenal. Wow. I don't even know if the camera's picking it up like as awesome as it is. It is the most vibrant, burnt orange. There's no filter on here. When I edit this, I'm not gonna put a filter on this. I could to make it even better, but this is so pretty. With the palm tree in front. Oh man, come on now. This is why it's important to get out of the house. Check things out, witness the beauty. So awesome. Jacksonville is one of those places that I think I could definitely live and I will probably be looking around to see what's around here, what the prices are. Even if it was just a little plot of land, I don't know. I just love all the green trees. Look at how beautiful the sunset is. I have friends here. The ocean is nearby. I mean, it kind of ticks almost all the boxes. The only negative is it's very far from the rest of my family. But, I can always travel. I got my heater on. All right, so I'm parked outside of my friend's house and I'm gonna go in soon so I can get a shower uh, and just hang out and co-work with her. But before I do that, I just got done doing my stretches and I'm gonna read my Bible. And one thing that I had a thought about is that 
kind of every night or every other night, I've been having this massive back pain that kind of radiates to my chest a little bit. But mostly now it's back pain, like upper back pain, like somebody just took a bat and just wound it up and just whoosh, whacked it against the back of my ribs. And just, it hurts, it hurts. So I've been stretching and whenever I just do this, it like really hurts. So it's, it's almost like a pinch in my sh right shoulder blade, but just like my whole upper back, which typically in my life, I've had bad lower back, which I do stretches every morning now. So that's been great. So when I went to the hospital, the doctor said, oh, it's because you have GERD, like really bad acid reflux. I started thinking before bed last night, I'm laying on a bunch of like squishy things. Like in my video about how to stay warm in the winter, I put this big puffy sleeping bag under my sheet and then put this other big wool blanket under over this. So it's just been like a big cushion, you know, of blankets. And so I'm laying on it wiggly like jello, just laying on this fluff. And I think it's because my body just sinks into the covers. And then I sit like this, you know, during the day which is terrible, which I'm also trying to work on a solution for that. It's just not ideal. And I'm, I'm getting myself together here. So I took these out last night and even though my back still hurts a little bit, it didn't hurt as much. So I'm going to leave these off for the next week and just lay directly on my mattress. Maybe that might be helpful. Anyways, these are my morning thoughts. And now it's actually getting hot in here. So I need to turn this off. The heater works really well and pretty fast. All right, let me read my Bible. While I'm in Jacksonville, I think I'll start looking around for different places that I might want to live, and I'll show you that in the next video. Bye for now. Snack time. Snack time.